occasionally you're gonna see a little blip here and there of the graphics kind of triggering off and on when my camera dips down and touches the ground. Uh, that's not unusual that I've noticed in some of the cities, uh, but it's something that uh, I'm sure is either it can be fixed or if not, then just don't bury your camera into the ground and I guess we'll be okay. But here is the main area, uh, the one to the right, thank you. <laughs> this is... For the battle for the mists. This is... All of the, of the gates are pretty much right here. Uh, you can pretty much almost go anywhere you want uh, from those gates. This whole area here is Fort Mariner, and this is where, obviously, there's a, a little bit of training and whatnot going on. Uh, some Like a staging ground, it looks like. Should you ever want to siege the Eternal Battlegrounds, maybe, via the gates? Who knows? Uh, leaving this, we're going to head on over to the Far Shore Ward, which is all the way across that bridge over there. I think, uh, do I have detour here? I do. <laughs> Uh, I do a lot of detouring to explore some. I couldn't remember if I had actually taken this particular one or not. But there's just, uh, there's a what looks like a Spanish-style building uh, up here, up the, uh, up the top of that hill right there. I guess I'm gonna, oh, go and collect this. There we go. Need that XP. I actually leveled during the Asura uh, Radisum city tour. I actually leveled while doing that one. I thought that was kind of funny. Like right at the end, this closing, and then right, I think right after I finished recording, I was like, ding, it's like, oh, sweet. Here we go, we're gonna go explore this. It's like a bell tower of sorts. Nothing clickable, unfortunately. I would love to, uh, <laughs> to ring that bell over and over again. Now, I've mentioned before, Guild Wars 2 provides you with paths, but it doesn't mean you can't forge your own path and make it work. Uh, here's another great example of that. These ledges exist. Whereas in most games, there might not be ledges close enough together for you to pull this off, or any ledges at all. It might just be one flat surface. But they're there, and I managed to make that jump without taking any damage. Doesn't seem like a big deal, but if you play as many as many MMOs as I have, trust me, little details like that really make, uh, make a huge difference. Really, really nice looking waterfall in the back. Just sucking in the frames. Just suck it in. <laughs> Uh, you can see the, the the blips here every once in a while. Now, um, a little mention about the frame rates. Every once in a while, you're going to see a dip. Uh, when I'm not recording, I'll get... Uh, Lions Arch is a little bit different. It's a little bit lower than what I'm used to. But it's like 60 to 70 frames per second. Um, but occasionally, it'll just dip every once in a while when I'm not recording, right? Down to like 30, 40. I believe there is a couple glitches here and there. Not glitches, I won't say that, but a couple of areas that uh, really put a damper on your frame rate. But just momentarily. Um, when I'm recording, the problem is amplified because now my computer is not just rendering what I see, it's also rendering a file of everything that I see. So you, you run into problems where the frame rate will dip down to unacceptable levels. And so you'll see that happen occasionally from, uh, here and there. But for the most part, it's, it's definitely reasonable enough uh, for us to all...